Hey guys, Happy New Year and welcome to my channel. It's been a minute. So Happy New Year guys and I hope it's been a great year for you guys so far. Um, so for today's video, I'm going to be talking about really more so um, coming to Nigeria, what you shouldn't do, what you shouldn't pack coming to Nigeria, what you shouldn't do when you're in Nigeria. It will be a very short and sweet video, hopefully. I've got a much longer article on my website that has what you should pack coming to Nigeria, a lot more details in that article. But then just for a quick, you know, blurb to like get you flowing when you plan to come to Nigeria, what you just have in mind when coming to Nigeria. Let me pull up my list of the do's and don'ts. So the first one is really a, a you know, you have to, you should make sure you do not drink from the tap in Nigeria. We have some folks who have those bottles that, you know, help sieve out the um, the germs and whatnot. It's not worth it. Water here is so cheap. You just buy a bottle of water. We have Nestle, we have Biggie, we have Everwater. Some folks even like import Fiji. Give a get Perrier. You can get some really good. So whatever, you know, I guess whatever, you want you find really good affordable brands where it costs less than set like it costs less than a dollar to buy a bottle of water you can get like massive jugs of like um the dispenser water and you can just like come with those like um pumps you put onto a dispenser um jar and you can just have that be your water source while you're in the country but then it is affordable you can buy a massive like 10 liter jug of water for less than a dollar it is that affordable and these are like really reputable brands, companies that do distill and sell this for everyday consumers. So try to avoid drinking from the tap or from a river or from a waterfall. I mean, yeah, waterfalls, you know, but then still just avoid the wahala and be safe. Anyway, second one of notes is like, um, I know that folks, I'm mean, like, I, I love to travel. I love going there with my gadgets to get some really amazing pictures. But then in Nigeria, many of the um, tourist sites will charge you a very steep fee if you have a massive camera or a massive gadget. So it's always best to just like go there with like a compact camera that wouldn't make them feel like you're a professional trying to like get, you know, mon money making shots. So try to just go there with. A phone that has a good camera or a compact camera can get some really good pictures without having to um, deal with the the harassment of you carrying something massive or eye catching. Even besides going to a tourist site or going to a park or going to a beach, um, going to the market with your big camera with a DSLR is just calling for trouble. You just ask it for it because they like, the local people will probably harass you. They will make you pay a fee. Or may just simply steal your camera from you and that's not worth it so yes we have a really lovely thriving market scene in Nigeria that people want to just capture those moments but then you become a target and you don't want that to happen to you um, third avoid walking at night if you can so if you really have to make sure you're walking at night with somebody and it has to be in a very safe space so maybe in a safe secure estate but then avoid it if you can. I know that it's quite hot in Nigeria, so most folks want to work out at night. I get it. But then make sure you go in pairs. I mean, even in secure neighborhoods, like where is it's quite secure, and we have security everywhere, but then the security could be the problem, where maybe just one happens to be having a day and sees me as a target. Things happen. I've heard many terrible stories in Nigeria, and it will be terrible if you come here to experience the beauty of this country and then you have that be a factor and that's nepa showing its face so yeah and then also what well, if you do choose to walk at, and to walk at night make sure you have a phone that has um a flashlight i mean most phones do have that nowadays anyway or you just hold on to or if you wear those like um those light band those um those like band those headbands that have like um a flashlight on there because besides the security of just people around you we don't really have the best um walking paths in nigeria um some of the sidewalks have like holes in them that could 
get you in trouble in terms of you falling into a gutter it's just painful i've been there before i live in lagos i should know better but then i've fallen in my fair share of like it, it just it got just like a, one open small slab where i'm just walking and talking and actually oops i'm in a gutter so you don't want that to happen to you it's painful it's embarrassing and it's painful like i was really injured it took a few months for my knee to heal from that injury and that just ruins a holiday you don't want that to happen um the fourth one is to avoid expensive looking accessories um jewelry anything that's flashy even the bags like you know eye-catching bags be look good but try to be as understated as possible because even when you're in the car you're not always safe um they can break into your car while you're in the car while you're in traffic and you're in a hold up they can just easily break into the car and rob you of everything because you seem to look like someone that has things worth robbing or stealing so um, earrings like necklaces fancy watches try to be careful of where you do decide to wear them make sure you're going to a very safe space where you know people who are in similar income brackets will be around because you don't want to be on the streets and you have your watch you know calling a thief to you because they will break your car and they'll, they'll snatch it off your wrists or maybe take it off if they're being kind you never know how that could go be safe um bags shoes jewelry computers your phone if you're in a car and you're in traffic make sure your computer is like hidden beneath the seats or it's in the boots just make sure it's not seen your phone also um what i try to do sometimes i try to have a really cheap um, phone with me that way if anything happens i have that phone to just give away and then i'm not even worth their time anymore but then if i have a nice fancy phone and they see that with me while i'm just like you know playing with my phone and they can see th that through the um the window oh she got money so i try to like be smart about all of those things and i live in nigeria so tourists is like you know don't do it and also when you're in a car in nigeria do not have your windows wound down only in a case where maybe you're on a highway and there's no traffic you're moving really, really fast they can maybe for a, for a bit enjoy the breeze or the fresh air coming through but as much as possible wind up the window make sure your car has a working ac because with the windows wound down you become an easy target you can snatch things off your body in traffic um i've heard of some horror stories um, let, let's not get into those ones, but more so the um, the surface level ones are just simply them just snatching things off your body that's just dangling out. Maybe you have your arm or your 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 wrists or your earrings or your necklace. You can just easily snatch that out. I've seen that happen to my mom, and it was not funny. And like I chuckled now, but it was just like, whoa, what's going on? Um, this is not like a big deal, but it's just more so of a tip where like some folks actually bring rain boots to nigeria it rains a lot in nigeria i get it we all know this but we have rain boots you can buy here it's pretty affordable you can buy like a pair of rain boots for like 2k it's affordable you, you probably will spend a lot more money having to buy one in whatever country like whatever country you're coming from and the weight the bulking as you could probably get more stuff of, that you want to use that space for so just like leave your rain boots at home and just you know buy a pair if you have to and for the most part, if you're in Lagos or for the even most parts of Nigeria, if you are here for a trip, I will always advise you to drive everywhere and not walk everywhere because it's just not worth it. And then just like have a pair of um, what I typically have, I have a pair of um, those like proper shoes. I can't remember what it's called, it's popular brand. I just like wear those when I know I'm going to go into a wet space. I just like have that in my car all the time for if I just don't want to have my shoe get messed up. I wear those for like um sludgy areas um number six some folks like to travel with every debit and credit card they have don't do it um nigeria has a very high crime rate um, when it comes to credit card um thefts um, online and also in person you don't want that to happen to you where if they steal your car they could clone it they could do whatever with the information so just simply come with one main card and your backup card don't bring everything you own it's not worth it it's not worth the theft or what you lose from it so it's just again not worth it just simply try to um get have enough cash you know in hand and have backup 
maybe with friends or family you're there with, but then just don't bring all of your credit cards and debit cards with you. Okay, number seven, do not bring a drone. Nigeria government is very, very funny. Online, they tell you that, oh, if you just apply for it through NCAA, get a drone. They don't tell you the steps that it requires to get the permit from NCAA. You have to have the DG, the Director General, sign off on it. This person is like number three. President, VP, DG. Do you think he'll send it, sign off on you? Who are you? So big companies like Dangote, you know, go through this process. They pay a fee for it. And in many cases, they wait about a year to so even have the document signed off on. So if you're coming in for a, a week or two weeks or whatever, whatever the case may be, you will have to pay. Um, you, it's not even worth it because there is no way they will even answer you. Like even on their websites, there's no info as to how you can even get them to even give you the permits. If they say it, but then there's no form on that to actually easily access to get the information. I've had my drone be seized from me. I was traveling through, my brother brought it for me. I was flying out the next day. I got a new drone. I'm like, okay, bring it for me. From there, I'll go to SA with it. It was since at the airport when he was coming in. I went to them, I begged. That time I used to work with the Guardian. And I go, oh hey, let's, you know, I begged, went there multiple times, nothing. Like when I went to the airport, I just saw them carrying a cart of drones that they had seized that day. They seized drones every day at that airport. Even if when you are flying out of Nigeria, they even try and chance you and take it from you also. So it's not even worth the wahala because they will take it from you and tell you, sorry, but let even that by law is even by luck because it is gone. They will never like it's just it's just gone. Bye bye. So do not bring a drone to Nigeria. Folks who do have drones, for the most part, bring it in illegally. Well, like it's just simply like they just got lucky, undetected, or they just paid a fee to not have their bags be searched. But then drones, once they, once they see it with you, and you don't have the NCAA um, documents of um, having the drone in the country, you don't come out. I mean, like, they have a whole warehouse where they just simply receive drones into in, um, by the airports in Lagos here. So don't do it. I've been there. It was painful. Money just simply down the drain. Yeah, not worth it. Don't do it. They have some companies locally where you can actually rent a drone from. I don't know who they are, but then, like, if you do plan to, let me know. I can ask around and just, like, simply put that in my well, in my blog and then just let you know where you can just, like, find that information. But overall, go water. Actually, in English, it is not worth it. <laughs> anyway, the final tip, a major big one that when I moved here, even when I lived here, I didn't even know it was a thing. When I, and luckily for me, it wasn't part of my fashion style, but then um, it was a shocking thing to witness when I saw somebody get beat up by um, police and the army officials on the street because he was wearing a camouflage jacket. So yeah, you are not allowed, it is illegal to be caught wearing any type of camouflage outfit. It could be in pink, it could be yellow, it could be blue, it could be a different wonderful color, it doesn't matter. As long as you are in Nigeria and are wearing such, you are, um, it is illegal and they may decide to um, imprison you for two years without any fine or for, for bail, nothing. You are just simply there for two years for just simply wearing an outfit. So do not have it in your luggage because they will think you're trying to impersonate an officer. It's not, don't do it. So don't have any camouflage, anything, nothing. Don't even, don't, don't, like any article of clothing that is in camouflage, it is not allowed. Bag, wallets, like wristwatch, they, they banned. No, don't do it, it's not allowed. So um, those are the top eight um, tips that I believe are key to know if you're coming to Nigeria what not to bring and what to not do when you're in the country so if you do plan to come to nigeria i have a longer list of um, things to pack um, and just like things you can do in nigeria so i'll link that in the um, box down below and so yeah cheers and yay it's my first video in almost two years peace Okay. What did I just do?